Ladies and gentlemen, today we delve into a heated controversy shaking the foundation of Olympic boxing. The International Olympic Committee, IOC, recently released a statement defending the participation of Algerian boxer Emain Khalif, who faced intense scrutiny after a bout with Italy's Angela Carini ended abruptly. Let's unpack the details and the implications of this contentious decision. The scene was set on the outskirts of Paris, where Angela Carini, a seasoned Italian boxer, found herself in an unforeseen and troubling situation. Facing off against the main Khalif, Carini was overwhelmed just 46 seconds into the match, citing safety concerns after suffering a suspected broken nose. The bout ended dramatically, with Carini sinking to her knees, visibly distraught, and refusing to shake hands with Khalif. This event drew widespread criticism, including strong rebukes from Italy's Prime Minister and a UN women's welfare official. The controversy stems from Khalif's previous disqualification from the World Championships due to failing a gender test, raising questions about the fairness and safety of allowing her to compete against female opponents. Despite this, the IOC doubled down on their stance, labeling the disqualification by the International Boxing Association, IBA, as arbitrary and without due process. According to the IOC, Khalif and another boxer, Taiwan's Lin Yuting, were unfairly targeted and their eligibility should be based on their passports as per Olympic guidelines. The IOC emphasized that every person has the right to participate in sports without discrimination. Their 557-word statement defended the integrity and past competitive history of both athletes, stating they have been competing in women's categories for years. The statement also criticized the spread of misleading information and highlighted the aggressive backlash against Khalif and Yuting as unjust and contrary to good governance. The fallout from this decision has been significant. Karini expressed that her withdrawal was not a protest but a necessary step to safeguard her well-being, explaining that the impact of Khalif's punches was unprecedented. This sentiment resonated with many who believed that the IOC's regulations might be too relaxed, potentially compromising the safety and fairness of the competition. Amidst the uproar, footage of Khalif's previous defeat by British boxer Amy Broadhurst resurfaced, fueling further debate. Broadhurst, although acknowledging Khalif's inherent physical advantages due to her condition, did not label her a cheat, suggesting that Khalif's attributes are beyond her control. The IBA's reaction was swift, condemning the IOC's decision and questioning the competitive fairness and safety of the athletes. They underscored that their tests indicated Khalif and Yuting did not meet necessary eligibility criteria, contrary to the IOC's more lenient standards. Despite the intense scrutiny and criticism, Khalif's participation in the Paris Olympics continues, with the Algerian Olympic Committee staunchly defending her against what they call baseless attacks and conspiracy theories. As the debate rages on, the IOC maintains its stance, urging for reduction in hostile rhetoric and emphasizing the importance of following proper procedures and scientific evidence in eligibility decisions. As the Olympic Games unfold, the controversy surrounding Emane Khalif's participation serves as a critical touchpoint in the ongoing dialogue about fairness, safety, and inclusivity in sports. This situation underscores the complexities and challenges the IOC faces in balancing these principles. Stay tuned as we continue to monitor developments and bring you the latest updates on this pivotal issue in the world of Olympic boxing. Thank you for joining us in this deep dive into a story that highlights the intersection of sports, ethics, and human rights. Until next time, keep questioning and stay informed.